estimating square roots. We're going to use the Babylonian method today. Don't know if these came from Babylon, but hey, <laughs> that's neither here nor there. Let's go ahead and get started. The Babylonians, first off, were very, very smart. They were able to figure out how to approximate a square root without using a calculator. So our goal today is to go ahead and try and copy their method a little bit and find square roots. First off, you take a guess at what the square root of the number is. Then you take your guess and you put it into the Babylonian method of solving square root equations, or the BM equation, just for short. So let's go ahead and give this a try. If we're trying to find the square root of 27 using the BM equation, the first step is to guess. I say the square root of 25 is 5, so the square root of 27 is about 5.2. It's a little bit bigger. You could use 5.1, 5.2, 5.3, whatever you think it is, somewhere around there. But I picked 5.2. Again, just a guess. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to place my guess into this BM equation using my guess as 5.2 and x being equal to 27 because that's the square root we were originally looking for. Here's the equation. It says the guess plus our original number divided by the guess and we take the average of that. So we divide that whole thing by 2. I've substituted in all of the values here, R1, or our guess, put in every place you saw R1, and the value of 27 placed in where you saw X. Now we'll just solve 27 divided by 5.2 is approximately 5.1923. You can do this in your head, or you can use long division or you can use a calculator. If you're using decimals, generally I use a calculator just to save myself a little bit of time, but you can do it either of these ways. So I'll add these two together and divide them by two, and I get the answer of 1 point or 5.196. And if you want to check your work using a calculator to check and see whether the BM equation works, you can go ahead and do that, and you find that it is pretty close. Our guess of 5.2 was pretty decent, and if you want to get it even closer, I'll show you that later on. But if you want to get it closer, you just stick this back into the equation again. All right. Let's try one more. And the square root of 102. 102 is pretty close to 100, so I'm just going to guess that it's about 10. The square root of 100 is 10, so the square root of 102, it's about 10. Right? I don't have to put a decimal on it. Let's just keep things easy. We're going to guess at about 10. And so that's my guess, 10. X is my original number of 102. So I'm going to put that information into my original equation, or my BM equation, if you will. So guess number 1 is 10, 102 divided by 10. So the first thing I do is 102 divided by 10, which is equal to 10.2. I'll add them together, which gives me 20.2, and divide that by 2, and I get 10.1. All right? So that makes sense. It's about 10 is 10.1. Again, I can check to see how close this is. Or, like I'm going to do in the next question, we can actually go one step farther and make it even more accurate using the BM method. All right, and because that was so much fun, we're going to do it again. I know this is going quick, but it's essentially using substitution and an equation. So we just have to practice actually plugging it in. And I think seeing it over and over and over is actually, and doing these questions over and over is the only real way to, to understand what you're doing. So with the square root of 90, we say 90, it's close to 81, so I'm going to guess at 9. I know it's not really 9, because 9 is the square root of 81. I know it's pretty far off, but I'm just going to guess that, just to show you an example of what happens if you guess a little bit off. All right? Here's what happens. Our guess is 9. Our value for an x is 90. So we're going to stick it into our equation. 9 plus 90 divided by 9, and, that's, and we'll take the average of that. So 9 plus 10 divided by 2, 
9 plus 10 is 19 divided by 2 gives us 9.5. All right, so our answer here is 9.5. Now, I don't think that that's accurate enough for me, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this guess of 9.5, I'm going to plug it back into that equation, see, I'll, and make it my guess number 2. So my guess number 2 is 9.5, my original value remains the same, and I plug it back into the equation, my BM equation, and you'll notice that I get my answer there, gets more decimal places, and at the end, it ends up being even closer to what the actual square root of 90 is. Then if I were to take this number, 9.487, stick that back into the original equation, um, I would get a number that's even closer, okay? So essentially, your first guess doesn't have to be all that close at all, but each subsequent guess will become closer and closer and closer. So if we are estimating to the nearest tenth, for example, we would say 9.5. If we were estimating to the nearest hundredths, we would say 9.49. Right, we round up if there's a number here that's greater than 5. So that's the Babylonian method of solving square roots in a nutshell. And I hope it's been helpful and maybe even a little bit of fun. <laughs> this guy loved it. He was up there the whole time, and he had a great time. I'll see all you guys later. Have a wonderful day.